Hey, hope you had some coffee because next up we're going to play with Google Docs. So what exactly is this Google Doc thing I'm referring to? Well, Docs are a way to manipulate Google to get the information that you want. You can also use Docs with ExploitDB to get something from there as well. But it might not have been for your eyes. So without any further ado, I think let me just go and show you the Google Doc part instead of blabbering on about it. So what I'm going to do here is just to show you exactly what I mean with manipulating it. I am going to go and say, let's think about a topic, GSD. So I'm just going to say GSD dog. So over there, we have got a co.za website. And over there, we've got an org. From here, we start looking at height, feet. Oh, we don't use feet. So this is obviously not a South African website. Yeah, also not a South African website. I think it's safe to say if I'm going to go through these different sites that um, there's not going to be a lot of actual South African sites. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I only get sites from South Africa. So I'm going to use the doc site co.za. And if you're going to go through these links now, you will find that each and every one of them is a South African website. So that is what I mean with using Google Docs in order for me to get stuff specifically pertaining to a specific object or whatever it is that you want. So let's go and have a look at this for a second. One of the docs that we find is something known as in URL. If you in the need for trying to find a possible vulnerable PHP site to maybe go and inject something or do a SQL injection, you can use a doc like that. If I'm going to hit enter, it's going to give me quite a few websites. Now, all of them has got an ID equal 20. So over here, you're not going to find anything else but PHP sites. Why? Because you have filtered the in URL to PHP. If you change that ID to say three, then you're not going to find an ID 20, ID 56, ID 2. You will only find ID 3 websites. So let's go and search something completely different now. I am looking for a website that has got in the pages Holly Davidson's for sale, as I'm quite big on my Holly Davidson's. And there we go. Every single website, doesn't matter where it's from, that is selling a Harley Davidson. But we also have books there because I said in text, which means anywhere where they're talking anything about Harley Davidson, bring that up and let's see what we can do. Next up, we can go and say anything in a text that's got telephone numbers. So let's have a look at what that talk looks like. All in text, phone numbers. So we are looking for websites that has got phone numbers in them. We can also say file type and specifically get, for example, Word documents or Excel documents, whatever the case may be. In this case, I'm going to be quite bold and daring. And I'm going to look for documents that's got something about the Secret Service in them, if I don't make spelling errors. So let's go and check this out. Anything secret service orientated that has got some form of a word document in them. Quite interesting, hey? We can also be very, very bold and go for a dork like this, where we are basically saying anything that's got a view cart. Now, this is the type of dork that you would use if you are looking for sites that are rather a bit vulnerable, and you want to see if you can cause some credit card fraud, for example, which is not what we're going to do here, because we are ethical hackers. And the last one that I want to show you is where we're going to have a look if Google can find any information on 
admin PHP website that has got an auto login. And there we go. So guys, looking at things like Google Docs, we can really, really find a lot of information on there. Information that can be quite creepy and scary at times, but essentially it can give me some good information. Information that can lead to a very good hack. But be warned, this is my disclaimer. These videos are for educational purposes only, so don't go and do anything stupid. Let's go and check out the website that I mentioned earlier on, on ExploitDB. So I'm just going to go and Google ExploitDB. And there's the website. And I'm going to leave this for you for, let's say, I don't know, homework. And we can go and check out, or you can go and check out at your own time, things that you can find over here. It's rather interesting because I can find anything from privilege escalation exploits, web application exploits. There's quite a few things that we can use there and quite a few pieces of information that I can get. But I can also go to the Dork database or the Google Hacking database. Remember I said to you earlier on, it's called Google Dorks. Guys, and I do advise you to rather use something like Chrome or Mozilla when you do these dorks because they don't seem to work well in Internet Explorer for some reason. So there, you can just go and click on one of them, have a look at what it is, have a look at what the guy found on it, and go and play around. Guys, know that these Google dorks are rather on the dangerous side, so you don't want to go and click on something that could get you into trouble. Again, remember the disclaimer, don't do anything stupid. These videos are for educational purposes only. Yeah, let's stick with that. So I take it you didn't know half of what I've just shown you now. It is fun. It does open your eyes and it does show you some stuff that you wish you actually never saw. So guys, go and have some fun. Go and play around. Go and read up on these Google Docs. I know that I've gone through them very fast, but if you're going to go and just go and Google Google Docs, you will find good listings on some dorks. And if you find a dork and you're not quite sure what it is about, feel free to email me. Like I say, use the internet to get what you want, the information that you want. Manipulate it. And later on in time, who knows what you'll do with that information. But anyways, start up Kelly for the next video. We will be using InMap and ZenMap. Bye.